what is up everyone so today i have a regulator tool a regulator and a tank and i'm going to show you how i made this why i made it and how easy it is to make okay so let's get into this review and see what it's all about so as you all know buying a ninja regulator tool uh, to torque it down and take it off is way out of the price range i mean i think they were like somewhere around 150 bucks okay buying another brand i think it's like aluminum it looks like this uh, that's gonna set you back around 50 bucks or something like that so what i did was i took the initiative to utilize my 3d printer and design my own tool um, based on a few different regulators that i had in stock on uh you know just sitting around and one of the designs i came up with was similar and it looks like that there's a few sections in here so basically the large section here is for your gauge okay so it's going to go in like this uh, the section on this side is for your 5k uh, blow off little disc burst disc and then on this side here you're going to have the 1.8k burst disc as you can see they're offset so that means your design is going to have to be offset Okay, and then over here you have your uh, fill spout or your quick disconnect, whatever you want to call it on this side. And then you have your shank length here, which allows you to unscrew these two screws and rotate this gauge. So that way this isn't impeding into your hand. Okay, so I designed it so it could utilize this longer size or it could do the short one that First Strike sells uh, with their, um, as an upgrade for their tanks, unless you buy the carbon fiber ones and it's like a little short uh, valve that I am into. And that's what I have, but not on here yet because like I said, the regulator is set to 800 PSI uh, for a home defense situation. I'm gonna run that to 1100 or uh, I think mine's a thousand but they do have them up to 1100 so you really get that bang um and it's interesting to see you know what it could do for target practice and stuff like that and uh how how fast you could get that projectile cooking okay so basically what you need to do is put this in here like so make sure it's empty put this in a vise so it's going to clamp down you're going to put it here and then you're going to twist it and it's going to come undone the way I designed it is to uh, hold it here and hold it here, the largest positions, uh, because the burst disc vary depending on the regulator you get. Um, and the gauge also varies in the regulator you get. So what I did here is, I don't know if you can see right here, I added a step. So I added an extra wide gap for a larger uh, regulator, uh, the gauge. And then I added a step that steps inward to get the smaller uh, setup like this locked in. I left a large enough hole in there so that way it could protrude through like so. And then you could unscrew it. So that's a way to get around purchasing one of these expensive uh, regulator tools and save you 50 bucks or more, okay? so. That's going to complete today's video. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this and other content I'll be posting in the near future, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.